这里是中央电视台第二套节目《财经频道》。经济学家普遍预计，美国宽松的货币政策可能将持续到明年年中。On the United States side, you know, we need to, you know, innovate. You know, the United States, if we're going to grow in the future, we need to move back to being an innovation society. We need to impose fiscal discipline that the ratio of our debt to, DD, to GDP. Is not supportable in the long term. So there's a lot of discussion as to when does the United States need to really completely exit its stimulus and move to,、um, you know, fiscal discipline. At the start of the second decade of the 21st century, relations are opening a new chapter. When President Hu visits Washington for a state visit with President Obama. Is in fact a great way to reaffirm the relationship. Now, 30 years ago, I was a young lawyer in the United States Department of State, working on the establishment of diplomatic relations between the United States and China. So it is a very memorable day for.、Me. I think it's fair to say that when I sat in the State Department 30 years ago, that I could not have imagined. That a combination of Deng Xiaoping's reform and opening plan, with the establishment of diplomatic relations between the United States and China, would lead to a relationship as diverse, as complex, and as fruitful as the relationship is today. Because we really need to make it a great relationship. It's the most. It's not only the most important relationship that my generation will have. It's the most important relationship that your children. And my children will have 50 years from now, when the historians write about the、uh, Obama administration, they'll write a little bit about Iraq, and they'll write a little bit about Afghanistan, and they'll write a lot about China.